oh. four already. And then there's going to be the bonuses. Yeah, there's going to be, be bonuses. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. These these look like the same pieces. Yeah, these are the same pieces. All right. And a, a, a little bit of simul Tetris going here with, uh, yeah, uh, both players making just efficient decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, making it work out. So our players here, Svavar, um, definitely a veteran player. Um, got... Well, did he get top eight in 2019? I'm not sure if he got top eight or top 16. I I, I think it was top top 16 or top eight. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if, you know, mostly known as the three-time classic European uh, oh, Tetris yeah, yeah, champion, yeah. of course. Uh, Shaki holding the current uh, world championship title in TEC. Mm -hmm. So uh, clash of champions right here. Uh, you know, in uh, second round we're showing no big, no big. <laughs> That's Zeno. That's New York City. It's like, you know, you, you see, like, you know, Jerry Seinfeld at the restaurant right next to you. It's like, no big. It's just what it is. A uh, little bit of a spire on Shockey's side, but uh, definitely something you can burn burn right down. See, Svavar having a bit of a lead right now, but mm -hmm. Shockey only one Tetris behind. At this point of the game, efficiency isn't too much of an issue until around... 70-ish lines on 18, then mm -hmm. if you have a deficit, you kind of have to watch out for that. Um, but this early, players can take their burns and... Yeah. Uh, chat, uh, Kairos, are you going to play? Uh, I am not going to uh, attempt to wade into this absolute den of sharks uh, that we have in the class. Like I, I was thinking about maybe taking a run where I'm modern, where I'm slightly more at home. Uh, Shocky with the extreme double well. Oh, gets the Z left. Uh, but the advantage of the double well, as you're seeing, two-piece combo to get Tetris ready. Oh my gosh. Shocky just throwing these pieces left. Um, as a roller, those are not scary, but definitely as a tapper, getting stuff, even like 10 left on 18 is still, if you miss that, you might just die. Uh, so. I mean, it was s s some... Some really strong tucks to just keep the stack uh, accommodating as well. Uh, and we're now really at a point of neck and neck where uh, they're just going to be trading these leads back and forth for probably a nice little while. Uh, we've Part of the reason why we've been seeing so much back and forth, this is a very strong bar game. Uh, most bars with 30, 32 uh, over Z's at 26. So definitely a strong scoring game. Wait, where are you seeing the piece? Uh, so, so the on the oh, P, P, P yeah, one yeah. and two down there. Oh, 30 bars at 50, at 60 lines is crazy. Yeah, like, no. The, 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 if it's if it's looked dramatic, it's because it is. So definitely high scoring potential. Little mm -hmm. bit of a drought at this point. I wasn't counting, but definitely a drought that Svavar is needing to navigate and accommodate. Oh, oh my very goodness! High up gets the bar. Oh, oh my god! Open for business at the very right last moment. Uh, that drought was not as kind to Shocky, but uh, more more accommodating left at the height of the playfield. Ooh, dirty triple, making it work for Svavar. Uh, oh, nice T spin set up. Is it in? Oh, it is the T spin. In the TSD for Svavar. And meanwhile, Shaki's been burning this entire time. Svavar's been high up. So Svavar taking a bit of a lead, only 20k. It's a, it's a, all things considered, that's a very small lead for how long both of them were stuck and, the, and that, that difficult drought. Svavar banging it down and then going back to build out the left. Really, really smart. This square hole for Svavar might cause some troubles. Oh, misses the Corian adjustment, but... Looks like his board is gonna it's gonna be pretty fine at this point. Um, both players in a bit of a drought, but also their boards aren't able to capitalize on it or capitalize for a long bar. Oh, it comes at the wrong time for Shaki. Let's see for Svavar. Svavar's got to. It, he's gonna need to burn down out of that hole. Oh, really, really strong, good pieces. Shaki needs to take the triple just for uh, just for safety's sake at this point. There's there's a one piece open, needs that J, that'll Shockey work. Open up. Oh, and the LJ fills right in. Svavar high up, gets the bar. I mean, th th 
That commitment to building out your left, though, even when it's slightly scary, like that's how you win at uh, tournaments of this mm -hmm. level. Definitely as a DAS player, you want to prioritize your left as the main thing. Uh, like sometimes I will just go for a 7 left quick tap with a bar just so that my left is built out on 19, you know? I mean, it, it, it just like... You know, you, you think about, like, just the, the fundamentals of stacking theory and, you know, taught in no small part by Jonas Neubauer through mm -hmm. many videos. Like, the the way that the left needs to be maintained. Oh, such a good situation Ooh. for Svavar right there. And, oh, not quite, oh, not quite dirty, but look, you want to you lower your, you want to lower your board for transition. Yeah, definitely. And 440 into transition for Svavar, 427 for Shaki. So even at transition, both players are pretty neck and neck. Still For sure. One Tetris apart. Oh no, shock! You're the misdrop though. Perfect J needs a bar. Gets the bar over. Oh, such a nice, nice play on Shaki's side. Looks like Shaki's gonna be safe here. Svavar building up now. Gets the bar. <clears throat> Shaki with six sixes or four sixes on his score right now. <laughs> oh, pretty cursed. I hope he gets. A line somewhere. De definitely some devilish play we're seeing. <laughs> nice split double burn as we move into level 21. Shaki's left is a bit concerning. Gets the bar though, so he can fill out his left, take some burns now. Alright, uh, the, the, the Z's are, the Z's are out in force now. S's and Z's coming back. Uh, not, not, not as many bars in the, in the mid to late game. Yeah, if we see now, they have 57 bars, which is around normal for this point, but considering how they had already 30 at 60 lines, um, that means by the later half of 18, they must have gotten pretty few amount of bars. Yeah, did, all, all, always a little rough to manage, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's not a, yeah, the game as a whole, not a wild discrepancy, but uh, since, since we've been in 19, a little bit of a struggle. Boom, Tetris for Svavar. Yeah, that Tetris for Svavar right there is very scary because um, that T, he barely got it over 6 left. 6 left is the highest you can get over with Das. Mm. So if he misread that and maybe went for the quick tap, he wouldn't have a Das for the bar next. So great board awareness for Svavar. And uh, as if the RNG guys heard me about uh, not giving us enough bars, they threw like five of them in a row there. <laughs> oh no, Shocky! Gonna hang a couple Z's. I don't think he can tap anything over the. Oh, oh no. no! And that is going to be it. Uh, and uh, is uh, is Svavar ahead? Um, and Svavar is ahead. Okay. Svavar is ahead. Six eighty nine. Great first game from these two players. <laughs> Yeah, get those Svavars out in the chat. <laughs> yeah, Svavar being here is a bit of a surprise um, because he's known for his his plays in uh, CTEC, the European Championships, but um, recently just moved to New York City. So um, hopefully we'll see him in, like, maybe the Philly Regional, you know? The Philly Regional next week. Uh, that's uh, – what's the name of the Philly event next week? Um, Too Many Games? I think? I think that's right. Oh yeah, two mini games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Games. Uh, organized by uh, Eric Scout, the rest of the Philly crowd should be excellent times. Eric, uh, 2020, uh, two world champion. Yeah. Uh, another and uh, the the main main driver behind mo a lot of the Tetris modding and Tetris gym. Mm -hmm. Also a great uh, content creator for Tetris. Uh, has a nice beginner's guide on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, the, 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 there, there's a pipeline, I think, in some ways for a lot of players to transition, should they so choose, uh, into content creation as just uh, community stewardship. Yeah, we kind of saw that with, like, I guess Miles a little bit. You mm -hmm. know, for, for the longest time, he was creating uh, videos on, like, TikTok, on his YouTube. Uh, just a bit moving into that content creating... A uh, little sphere, but as of now, he's kind of moved back to a player. I mean, you know, t TikTok is uh, TikTok is a wild, wild place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as a, you know, 
I, I just turned 41 a couple days ago, and so TikTok is one of the ways I stay current with uh, <laughs> language. Just, just, just language, really. <laughs> nice spin from Svavar to keep that well open. Love seeing efficient SZ spins. Ooh, oh, set up for a nice. Kita. Gets the Kita, the Svavar. Shaki, not yet Tetris ready, will be with that square. Meanwhile, Svavar gets a Tetris, basically tying it up. Um, less than a Tetris deficit between these two. So, another close 18 we're having here. Oh. And, you know, it's 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 cool that 18, like, a as we see, even in, you know, the, the thrill screen era, 18 still decides games. It no, still definitely, happens. Definitely. Um, you know, the, the power of efficiency is just so high. Really clean setups. Uh, this game, we're at uh, 23 bars, uh, which... Pretty even piece distribution. Yeah, 23 is about normal at this point. Mm -hmm. Usually by transition, you'd have um, 40 to 50. Um, and they're about halfway through the game, so it's just times it by two, it's about normal. Excellent. It's a good stat to have. <laughs> um, again, uh, but like the other thing is like not there's not a huge gap between the most common piece and the least common piece, which is just wild when you see that that really becoming definitional of a game. Ooh, Shaki with a bit of a spire. Get the bar over, but needs an L now. Has to cover with the square. I interestingly seeing both like S and Z spires on different <laughs> sides of the of the board just based on how they chose to make those builds. Oh yeah, I just noticed that Svavar had a S spire <laughs> on his side, but thankfully his was in the middle, so it didn't really split the board um, too much since he had space to move around it, but Shockey's Spire kind of confined his columns uh, 1 and 2 to needing a bar or an L. So, and you can see right now it's hurting Shockey a lot more. Mm, Svavar setting up a T-spin. And gonna pass, gonna pass. Alright, Shockey definitely has to uh, b burn, burn down out of this. Yeah, Shockey's board is not necessarily dangerous, but... If he continues this burn, he'll be very behind into 19. But that's some good pieces. Nice L, nice S. Can For he get the, the dirty Tetris? Yeah, the, the the dusty Tetris. The dusty Tetris. It's, 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 it. If it's only one, it's not dirty. It's dusty. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if that can be a thing. Well, you heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. Both players are a bit dusty right now. <laughs> Actually, it's true. Shocky cleaned up. Uh, oh, yeah. No, no. He's, he, he's ready to open for business on... Right, right on the ground floor. Ground floor opportunity. Act now before it's too late. And boom, Tetris for Shockey. Uh, Svavar had a great adjustment up there um, when he was digging down. Um, he could have placed the Z flat, not burning anything, but he decided to adjust it for mm -hmm. an mm -hmm. S, and that opened the well just in time for a bar. Um, he was pretty high up, and especially since he's doing DAS, I don't... It would be pretty hard to live that if he didn't see that adjustment. So, Svavar go, uh, getting a little dusty again. <laughs> a bit dusty. Shaki, really strong, well disciplined, and rewarded. Shaki can get one more Tetris here. 460 transition, which is more than what he got last game. But um, actually, Svavar pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah, no, this is, this is, no one is running away with this. Mm. Oh, no. Svavar ideally needs to get that over on 18. Okay, good, he does. Sets up a T-spin, gets the T-spin. Can Svavar get this 19 dig with Das? Uh, well, I mean, I don't think he has a choice. He's got to. Oh, my gosh. Needs a bar now. Oh, no, but he misses the J. And Svavar's going to top out. Shaki, t Shaki tying the set here, one to one. Mm -hmm. Well, just staying in good board health around transition. You cannot overestimate the importance. Yeah, definitely. Um, like even to the twenty-nine transition, I think it's usually in co in competition. It's usually just better to burn into twenty-nine rather than get the last Tetris, just because how dangerous that transition is. Um, because you're on 
a certain level for so many lines, and mm. then suddenly you're jousted into this new higher speed. Um, it's not easy to adjust that, like, adjust your brain to that higher speed so fast, so... Uh, I mean, like, just the, like, especially when, uh, what, you know, the... One of the things I like about, you know, in Tetris Effect Connected, the, the zone mechanic is, ooh, it's the, the, that's going to be a little bit frustrating for Favar to clean up on top, but that'll be fine. The, the zone mechanic I found was, like, in some ways a reflection of just how you feel when you're playing Tetris of being in the zone, mm. and, like, when something changes fundamentally about your timing, it can be hard to stay in the zone in that moment, just yeah. mentally. And so the game, I, I just thought that was a cool mechanical representation of just like how the experience works. Uh, split triple burn, uh, getting us uh, one off the ground on Svavar's side. Svavar playing pretty dusty all these games. <laughs> <laughs> and Doom Tetris, uh, Simul Tetris, both sides. Shocky uh, opening up a little bit of an early lead. Shocky. Very good efficiency to start off. Um, only taking six burns out of 26. Meanwhile, Svavar up high can get the Z over, but his left is kind of. We really? Oh, we, we would have oh, no. loved to see that one move earlier. Oh, oh no! And the hang on the right. Yeah, he lost a bit of dash on the square, so um, I think even with a quick tap, that L m would be. Either very hard or not possible. So yeah, no, that's you gotta you gotta make it make it happen the best you can. Mm -hmm. All right, increment the seeds and uh, match point for Shaki. Uh, maybe getting in. Uh, you know, as as we've talked about uh, last month, these two went toe to toe for uh, uh, two decider games back and forth. Back when this was double of limbs. Svavar pulling off the bracket reset against Shaki for the win, coming Wait, back up. When was this? Last month at Last Zeno. month? Oh, there was a Zeno tournament last month. Wow. It, it was wild. Uh, so, so I believe I believe Shaki sent Svavar down to the bottom side of the bracket where he would eventually come back up and beat uh, Shaki in Three, two back to back one, with the Tetris reset in the, wow. the true finals. So ten games that these guys who, that these guys who won went that through. previous game. I just sat down. Uh, Shaki. Shaki, Shaki, Shaki okay. took it. Uh, so match point for Shaki now uh, in uh, revenge, where uh, he will not only beat Svavar if he wins this, but he will also earn the privilege of not having to play a ten game set against <laughs> Svavar <laughs> afterwards. Which uh, you know, listen. It was, it was wild. It was amazing to watch. It was a draining contest for both players at that point. Just you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> yeah, I have experience with double limb. Um, the CTWCs that were online were both double limb, and those were, they were while they were really fun. They were a slog at some points, just taking so long. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, It was uh, it was definitely wild to see just how that all happened, uh, but you know, it was it was an earlier time. It was quarantine. It was like, hey, why not? You know, it's not like you have to factor in transportation yeah. <laughs> timing. Just get a little more Tetris in. Turned out to be a lot more Tetris. A lot more Ooh, Tetris. Ooh, Shocky, Shocky stuck up there. Really needs Ooh. some incredibly correct pieces. Ooh, he gets the he got the L for his right side, but just before that he misdropped an a Z on the left. And that really sealed the game there. That was alright. Well looks my looks like my thirst will once again be quenched by some delicious, delicious D cider. D cider. I mean, what what happened on Shaki's on, on Shaki's side? I, I I confess, I was. Yep, it looks like this is the key moment. Nope, it's still good. It's still good. Mm, ooh, okay. First off, that Z to the left is not ideal because first off, it makes your parity pretty bad. It jags your board, and also your left side is sloping upwards to the right. Oh, and um, there's there's the critical hole. Yeah, there's the critical hole. Um, but I think all of this really stemmed from that one Z placement 
the way mm -hmm. back. Uh, it's it's amazing how how small decisions add up Ooh. in very very quick ways. Yeah. Shocky uh, going for going for the dusty right off the bat. <laughs> the dusty off the bat. And Svavar uh, archetypical sloping left. Shaggy's board with a bit of complications. Had two J dependencies at a point and has some holes at the bottom. So even if he gets a bar, it'll only be a triple. Oh, even more holes after missing that spin. Svavar, meanwhile, uh, very solid and rewarded with the Tetris for that calm consistency. Yeah, unlike like if Svavar keeps up this clean stacking, Shaggy's gonna have a run for his money on transition um, uh, after the history of last month i mean look it, it, taking it to at least one decider seemed entirely reasonable the, does it need to be more than that probably <laughs> not this time but you know uh, you still know how to put on a show Minor dependencies. Okay, burning it down to get out of it. That's that. That's a that's a good solve on Svavar's side. Shockey's board, nice and clear. Svavar a bit high up. Would Ooh. like something for his right. Oh, and gets the bar left. That's gonna save him a lot of time instead of having to worry about his left. Eats an L. Bar will help there. As well as open. Will he get the bar now? Really could use that Ooh. bail. Oh my goodness. Covers the well just as the bar comes. Another bar comes as this well is covered. But, but finally. That was that was a back to back breaking it down. Yeah, back to back unfortunate bar timings, but Svavar is able to fight through and pull it out. But meanwhile, Shaki has been clawing back this lead. Um, uh, but but that same burst of bars uh, was was mostly used to build out, not as much for scoring. That is true. You can see on the left side his whole stack was white there, which probably were the bars uh, for Shaki. And yeah, about about a about a a, a real one Tetris lead at this point. Yeah, just about one. Ooh, but Svavar oh, high up. High up in the middle. Really needs that bail right about now. Gets the nice J. Flat is so good for that one J there. No, loses oh, Das no. on the S. Oh, no. And Shaki just needs 230,000 to take game five and the set. And that's uh, that's very close. 22, 29. 232. Two more singles should do it. Oh, he's tied! He was tied! Oh my gosh, he was tied! Put push down points, push down <laughs> points. Push down points for the win. Shaki taking hard fought revenge after last month. <laughs> yeah, we can see how Svavar topped out here. I mean, when you when when you have, I mean, well, th th that's just th that's just gonna make it hard to get anything in the right spot. Yeah. <clears throat> that J absolutely crucial bail. And he even survives this. Ooh. Very well fought. Very well fought. Good job, Svavar. <laughs> and that. And that right there, once you're once you're at the top, once you're hung hung with a long bar at that point, you're just done. Yeah, <laughs> it's really kind of done from there. Uh -huh. Very very close, very very difficult uh, matches, but yes, Shaki advances, and Shaki plays some excellent sportsmanship on display. The winner of next match. <laughs> Which is going to be yourself yeah. versus Nichols. Me versus Nichols. So. All right. Uh, yeah, Nick, Nichols and Misty had some really 